Now this is an episode, I, I'm not sure which one, and I'm not, I'm not going back and doing all this research, I'm just kind of working from memory, but uh, I think we were chasing a bomber or something, and we went into this building that was in, um, in the Tenderloin. I think it was an old hotel, but it was a storefront, and it was rigged with all these explosives, and we, we walked up to the front windows, which were two huge plate glass windows that were going to blow out um, when this explosion was going to happen. And this is, I wasn't, I wasn't completely clear on what was going to happen. And this is probably my fault. And this is a note to younger actors. Try to figure out exactly what's going on to, uh, you know, avoid getting injured. <laughs> but... Um, we were standing by the by the front. What was going to happen was, <clears throat> what happens in the scene is we go into this building, and then we find all these explosives. It's all rigged up because the bomber gave us messages to go there. And what happens is, we see that it's going to go off, and there's not time to defuse the bomb. So then we walk out, right? And we walk out and then everything, you know, everything goes up in smoke. So we're getting ready to enter the building and I'm standing there and we're standing in front of the plate glass window and, and a, a DJ at the time says, hey man, he goes, before they go hot, let's, let's step away from the glass because they go on the radio and they say, hey, we're going hot. Well, the explosives are set off at this time. The charges are set off by an electrical impulse. So somebody keying their radio accidentally, somebody, you know, speaking on the radio when they shouldn't have can set off the, uh, set off the uh, explosions. So we're standing next to the glass and he says, you know, let's step away while they go hot. And sure enough, we walked away. Boom! Shards of glass just flying everywhere. Now, uh, it was movie glass. It wasn't real glass, but still, you know, shards of, I think it's made of sugar, actually, if it gets in your eyes, if it gets, uh, you know, if you're standing right next to it, you can really get injured. And that's, that's the same thing about, uh, about blanks as well. You know, you get, you get too close, you can, you can get really injured. So the glass blew up, they went and they had to put a new glass on, and then uh, we went inside of the building and we walk inside and I look and there's look like 55 gallon drums full of liquid. And I, I can only imagine it's gasoline maybe or some type of flammable liquid. There's two of them pointing at the glass windows. Now we're all hot. We're all ready to go now at this time. So, <laughs> so we go inside, action. Right, and then we come, we find the bombs, and then we come running out of the building. Now, this is what really struck me as um, <clears throat> terrifying, I guess you'd say. <laughs> as we're running away from the building, right, we're running across the street, there's parked cars there, and we're to get behind the cars while the explosions go off, right? So we run out, and as I'm coming around the car, I see the, uh, the camera crew. And they're behind what looks like bulletproof glass, plexiglass, with masks, masks on and, and, you know, safety gear. And I'm thinking, wait a second, I'm closer to the explosion than they are, and they're all covered in gear. <laughs> so I come around the car, I get down, and I turn to look back, and then right then the explosion just goes off. Boom! The whole thing, just huge fireball. And everything just comes flying out of the building. Well, I turn and I look this way, uh, where the camera crew is, and their faces just are, <laughs> they're horrified. And as I said, again, they're behind the... <laughs> the plexiglass, and their faces just glow orange from this huge, massive fireball, right? And I look, and I'm looking, and I look back towards the fire, under the car, and there's a board. It's a, um, uh, a piece of plywood, 
right? Probably, I don't know how big's a piece of plywood, you know, four by six or whatever. And it's flying from out of the building across the street. It slides, it hits the ground, and I'm looking underneath the car. It slides under the car coming right towards me, and I turn my head, and the board hits the curb, and fire comes up from it, and I turn like this, <clears throat> excuse me, and the fire shoots up, and I could see the reflection in the plexiglass, <laughs> and I turn and I look back at Don, and his shoulder's on fire, and he looks at me, and I look at him, and he says later, my, my eyes were as big as saucers, and I was like, you were on fire. You know, what do you expect me to do? But uh, that happened like this, pat down the fire, and then this ungodly explosion happens. And I guess it was part of the deal, part of the stunt, but I didn't know about it. The whole huge, and I think it's in one of the trailers, <clears throat> first season or something, the trailer, I mean, the, uh, the, the marquee, I guess, well, it was a big steel sign that was mounted outside of the building. And it just falls. You hear it wrenching the steel, and the thing fell and landed in the middle of the street, made a huge divot in the street. But the sound was just hellacious. And after the fire, and then this thing just slams down, it was... Um, it wasn't, uh, <laughs> it wasn't good for my nerves. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so um, if you like this story, I'm going to be doing more stories like this. Please hit subscribe, like, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>